We are back. Okay, good. No, they can people are telling they can hear. It's perfect. All right, guys. Thank thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for all your help. See, this is a collective. We just socially solve the problem. Collectively. This now what you like. This now what you like. So as I was saying, I don't go the same can juice cleanse so hey. This is the fifth day now. I've eaten maybe twice in these five days. Small food like this. Very small portion of food. I have to be clean food. So no meat, no pepper, no all those. Ah. I'm telling you, man. It's been a tough five days. It's been a tough five days. So, yeah. Uh huh. You know how it is. I won't talk to now. You know, the funny thing is this kidnap thing, they always come up for Nigeria. I don't do live on kidnapping. But they my old archive. I won't go back, go find the archive. Because I did a really long live then on kidnapping. So everybody will get time. You can check my old pictures from like uh, videos from like two, three years ago. Before you check two, three years to now. It should be something about this kidnapping phenomena. We we as Africans the experience. Mm, yeah, kidnapping. But funny enough, may I talk something because <laughs> Nigeria police, when I go put me for sale one for panty, when I teach that they do me bad. Now I can expose the things I found out inside the cell. And what I found out, you know, say, if you know panty, now two cells there for panty, cell one and cell two. Now cell two, they put all the, you know, misdemeanor, gentle, all the, if you be celebrity with the arrest, you know, if you don't sleep for a guy office, they won't tell they won't put you for sale, they'll put you for sale too. But most of them now, guy office, they, they sleep. Me, I no sleep for guy office. Why? You know, I won't die. But what you have discovered for sale, why? Where they put me with all the hardened criminals, the murderers, the killers, the kidnappers. We say all the kidnapping group get police inside. All the kidnappers with inside say what with me. Police they inside them. In fact, that the police they be their ringleader. I swear down. No group of kidnappers would that say with me when you get police member. When they don't arrest, we deal with them. Hmm? Either down with the, with, the, with the police deal with us there, or they defy the police in don't be ja. One crew, eh, na even pre, they don't catch them. Prison water, na he carry them escape. If they give prison water, open gates. They be ja. So water come, they come arrest the water with them. So water say, come this side. <laughs> I say wow well, with them. All of us did that. Yeah. Facts. And now, bring me to my point. This is going to be a short life. And anybody want to be there, go take their head, knock bamboo, make it, uh, knock kota. I go dive and hug transformer. The biggest group of kidnappers for Nigeria. The Nigerian police. All of us have been kidnapped by Nigerian police. All of us. What does it mean to kidnap person? What does it mean to be kidnapped? Somebody carry you against your will, right? And then somebody pay money to release you to that person. Yes, kidnappers, they call their own uh, ransom. Police, they call their own bail. But bail is only official. And bail is for free. Nobody will take money from you to bail you. Shouldn't pay for bail. So anytime you give police money, that's not bail. That's ransom. Bail is free. So if you're in Nigeria, where somebody don't hold you, and you don't pay that person for them to leave you, you have been kidnapped. Who else does that to all of us collectively in this country? Let's rewind back. Five, six, six years ago in this country, they arrested a man called Evans. 
They arrest one man. They say his name is Evans. They say Evans is the number one kidnapper, kidnap kingpin of this whole world. They say nobody they kidnap for Nigeria past Evans. Brothers and sisters, since they don't arrest that Evans till now, since they arrest Evans till now, has kidnapping reduced or increased? They say he's the mastermind of all the kidnap. They say Evans alone, and they commit over 50% of all the kidnapping when they happen for Nigeria. Say him and his in crew. Say him and in crew. Now they kidnap everybody, they arrest everybody. Finish. What that happen after they arrest Evans for the kidnapping? Even the policeman, where they say arrest Evans, they hold on to. He said, Go jail. Now, now the policeman they don't release. As they release them again, I'm not being so. Is it a coincidence that they release what is that policeman's name? I do video. Kiari. I don't for, I don't forget his first name. But I know the last name that Kiari. I do one video called where I say if you want to hush by Kiari because now he a hush puppy. Then they call, they say in a super cop that time and they call the man where he arrest Evans. He's super cop in you know, he said they just let us in a business partner. Because at the end of the day, when they arrest that Kiari, no crime where they no charge him for. No crime. Where they no charge Abba Kiari for. Yes, that's his name, Abba Kiari. There is no crime in this country. Drug dealing, money laundering, 419, kidnap everything. And they they for your head. And they've released him. And kidnapping has exploded again. <laughs> The man where arrest Evans, where they arrest, they don't release her. Kidnapping don't blow everywhere again. <laughs> so if Nigerian police is serious about stopping kidnapping Nigerian government, then let the Nigerian government workers stop kidnapping Nigerians first. Before me, I face kidnappers, we be criminals, where they kidnap Nigerians. Let me face the ones where me are pay salary, where they kidnap me. Everybody in Nigeria, except you are the child of one of these our oppressors, where they carry their own police around. You must have been kidnapped. I don't they go for road when I small one. We just stand in front of my my friend house. I can never forget. We stand in front, but we don't give them shishi. They lock me for sale all night. Uncle Beko and come bail me the next morning. We just stand in front of my friend house. So they just pack bus. What is the scenario of being kidnapped? Not because you go there, can't they go on your own. Pack up, pack moto, carry you, put you inside the boot, lock the boot, or put inside the moto, lock the moto, carry you, they go. Then somebody will come pay money to release you. Why are we shouting, kidnap, 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 as if we are not all being kidnapped in this country? I say, people are in my DM. Talk about, say, talk about kidnap. Talk about kidnap. All this news, what did they do? Is political. This whole play too. Uh, issue it's political because we're there for this country because very dark black man don't talk the fact of what they happen for play two states but because that's not the fact they want to hear that's not what they want to hear that thing must be turned into a religious the people when they make phone calls say they want religious war for this country during last election well going around this they don't go wear uniform, no uniform, not be police moto, just down for boss or white boss or blue boss. You just park, carry boys, not inside the moto. You they go for road, they will just block you with their moto. Wah, carry everybody inside their moto. You can't go to pay their money to release your loved ones. You go pay their money to release your brother, pay their money to release your worker, your sister, your wife, your husband, your children. I was 16. I can never forget. I just did in front of my friend's house. Jack. I may not even want to me the carry us. But Jack, my mom get crazy. Where, where? And Jack, the fear making my mom even come because we were standing outside late. You know, it was like one in, one in the morning. Jack, no, making my mom come. They make me say, yeah. So you see, we just follow me. No, 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 no. I said, they carry us. So for doing nothing, we are just standing. Citizens of Nigeria, what have you done? You just, you just have to be standing. That's kidnapped. 
And at the shout answers, no SARS again. Are you not still being kidnapped? Because people will do what they do. These people will do what they do. They come with guns, but China because now poor people. See, these people will go and carry poor people. Call it raid. For them to carry rich people, it has to be kidnapped. They can't just go and raid rich people now. Mm -hmm. So when they need to collect from Unaha, when our boys won't train, give gun, no give good work. When they need to come collect from Unaha, now they call and kidnap. Maybe that's why they sweep up, sweep up under the carpet. Money they change hand left, right, and center. Kidnap and they collect 50 million, 40 million, 100 million. Nobody they see her. Person go drop the money, nobody they investigate. Money just they move. Kidnap and go charge, collect the money, we won't collect. Police go see they, they, they rescue the, this person for stories. 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 All stories. But I know, so if we want to stop kidnap for this country, the first step is to stop the Nigerian police from kidnapping Nigerian people. Finish. That's the first step. The moment these our political elites can talk to their attack dogs, say leave Nigerian people alone. They're going to say kidnapping, gun will come reduce. Yes, that's the moment kidnapping will reduce in this country. The moment police themselves. Stop kidnapping Nigerian people. Mm -hmm. We need to stop kidnapping Nigerian people. We can now look at the criminals that are involved in kidnapping. But when it's a free for all for the institution, they are used to it. Then I go pursue the person from police. Or I go say, in go all the day, in take break. Somebody will say, he's used to making money from kidnapping people every day. It's just as they don't enter their police car, they go for road, carry innocent person. You must come pay money to Bela. Seize in phone. Carry them go ATM. Not be police, they do other one. Even the first armed robbery gang in this country. Anini, not be former police in Biabino. Not be former police. They are a guy of their group. What it be that in name again? No. Anyway, them Anini crew, police now in the inside. The first armed robbery crew in this country. The first armed robbery crew in this country, police the inside. Nice police officer. I don't forget his name. Whether the Anini be the police. No, not the Anini be police. Which of them be police? No, now Anini be police. Now police too be No. Yes, no, not be in, in a police officer, but on that police will be the Oga. They inside that crew. Osumbo, who be this Osa, Osa Kwaya? This man knows something. Osa Kwaya knows something. He knows something. DSP Iyamu, exactly. DSP Iyamu. Uh -uh. Yeah. Police knife fool the old and in his court. But you know, you know they teach us history. We don't remember these things. We don't know that we need to clean up these institutions. That many of the rots, what they happen for our society, come out from the same institutions we suppose they stop the rot. So the uh, stealing of petroleum in Nigeria is perpetrated by who? Mostly. NMPC. NMPC, we suppose they protect the oil of Nigeria. They are the biggest thieves of Nigerian oil. You understand? Banks, we're supposed to bring wealth to Nigerians. Banks are supposed to bring investment. They are the biggest thieves of Nigerian money. They are the biggest creators of poverty. If you be big man, we won't poor quick. Just go bank, go take loan. If you be Nigerian big man, where poverty they hungry you. You feel say you never poor. Not be all these rich men when they go collect their money back because get some rich men for Nigeria. Any money they borrow, now government they pay. Government will come take your own money, go pay the IBC. <laughs> they get company. It's called Amcon. 
in case you don't know what I'm, asset managing company of Nigeria, asset management company of Nigeria. This is the most scam, the scammest company ever created anywhere in the world. Amcon, a company created to pay the base of rich people on their behalf. <laughs> So that the rich man can keep all his property and all his, you know, go sell anything. Maybe they go take, first we get 100 house. Maybe they go take two house for your hand. You know, see, they, they, they wait. Make... <laughs> so please, for this country, if we want to stop kidnap, stop the Nigerian police from kidnapping the Nigerian people. Once these institutions, you see, when our educational institution, we're supposed to bring education, and information to the minds of African people rather give indoctrination, make lecturers they take bribe, they take blow job for grades, spreading stupidity. It is the institutions in this country we're supposed to protect Nigerians. Those are the institutions gone gone that sabotage Nigeria. Any institution they create in this country, the thing we're supposed to do, now that institution will go, 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 destroy that thing. I never, you know, I never said this kind of people before. Me, you didn't worry. Me, you didn't worry. Me, you didn't worry. You know? So, We must understand that it is the institutions, the anti-African, because these people don't understand that many, these institutions, not many, all the institutions that Europeans have created are institutions to exclude black people from the benefits of those resources that the institutions control. You understand? Academia, what does it mean in Latin? What is exclusion? European creates these institutions for exclusion, to remove you, not to bring you inside. So they are happy to spread these institutions in your country, put black people to run the institutions, because they say these institutions will still create the same results. Go to America, and they tell you now, go America, go black people area for America. The same thing with the experience as black people for Nigeria. Then the experience. Police are supposed to protect life and property. Then they keep black people for America. Don't you understand? The same police will say, protect, your life, protect and serve. Those are the people killing black people in America. We must learn to differentiate between uh, what we want and these institutions where Europeans they tell us they will give us what we want. We Africans, this is not the duty where our elites and our political, both political and business elites, no we ever agree to do because of the contract we sign with, it will be that. To, to continue to consume their life away, to eat till they get old and wither away without legacy, is that they will never embark on creating African institutions. African institutions. I mean, that's the only people that they kidnap for Africa. Our resources, Unko. What? Now, kidnap. All our resources in Africa is being kidnapped. Taken away to European land to serve European people. The way our people have been kidnapped. What be Jackpot Syndrome? Who they everybody they try to jack her. They are kidnapping labor from Africa. That's kidnap of labor. People that should be working in our continent, working in our country. You create a situation where we say these institutions don't fail them. Now they need to come serve you. We don't have their service. The best Nigerian doctors are not treating Nigerians. The best Nigerian lawyers are not defending Nigerians. The best Nigerian professors and teachers are not teaching Nigerian children. The best Nigerian athletes, footballers, are not representing Nigeria. So what are these institutions really creating? Ministry of Sports, this one, that one. If the best of those things that we have given birth to in our own land 
are not representing, treating, educating, or doing anything in relation to us as African people. Is that what the kidnap of our entire future? Is that not a complete kidnap of the entire future of African people? But now one day focus on this, my, because it given us somebody we no be una leaders, we no be una or guard them to point to kidnapper must be a criminal. Hey, all this, that's the way people like to point quickly. Quick. Yahoo boys, hey, 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 kidnapper, hey, 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 we are all kidnapped. Everybody will kidnap me because I said we look at ourselves. Because that's anybody go pay. <laughs> that's anybody can kidnap me. Don't they? That's you. Nah, nobody go pay. Nobody go pay money. Nobody, nobody go pay money. Bad market. You know, uh, Zella Zell says she is supposed to start movement too. Man, where are all these people? People come to my page. Let me tell you. Other than the naysayers and the mugus, you know, the people that annoy me the most are people that pretend as if they don't know that MOP exists. As if they've not heard me shout every day, movement of the people, movement of the people. As if they've not gone to my page to see all the posts about movement of the people that are on my page as we speak. Look, where is your movement? What have you done? You're not doing anything. You're just talking. Motherfucker, there's movement of the people. You're the one not doing anything. I'm doing everything that I can. Now you want uh, liberation to come to you while you hold champagne glass in your hand. And you're eating caviar with the other hand. And liberation will just come to you. <laughs> That's what you want. You do that one. There's the movement of the people, motherfuckers. On Instagram is at MOP Center. So go there. When I know they do that. Like, and they all know. That's what they are annoying me with that. They know. All the people they ask me, they know. They know. They know. They've seen it. Because if you have anybody don't even look my page, if you just glance my page for one second, it's there. So everybody in charge of everything in this country is kidnapping that thing, brothers and sisters. Lecturers are kidnapping our grades and exchanging it. For blow job. If I be president, if I be president of Nigeria, eh, the worst people we will, will punish for corruption, or if I get influence over how the laws of this country is written, are those that sabotage knowledge. Those that we put in charge of our knowledge in this country, because not only money that the things say be national treasure. Not only money and oil and tin and all this, now that you say be national treasure, the grades that we give teachers the authority to give in this country, the grades, when you go in, the A, that grade A, B, your mark, that professors, lecturers are in charge of, that is a national treasure because that decides who is who in our professional field. That decides the quality that decides the quality of individuals that run this country. And we put people in charge of those grades. They give it as they want for their own personal but they're just If you put that same professor, uh, I mean, we have put a professor, PhD, as president, Jonathan Goodluck. I mean, <laughs> I don't need to, I don't need to go for, I don't need to say more. I don't need to say more. You know? So, if we want to talk about this kidnap, we are all kidnapped. Every Nigerian, every Nigerian is a victim. Right now, you are kidnapped. Even as you day free your house, you are, being, you are kidnapped. So let's free all ourselves. And we must speak to the institutions that claim to be against these things. Yes, because when people they tell me eh, when somebody is killing Nigerians, like even the whole Boko Haram crisis, my only question to Nigerians say, hey, Boko Haram, you don't talk about Boko Haram. I never will I speak about Boko Haram. Because I ask the question if you day your house for two in the morning, you they sleep, 
You can't hear a knock for your door. Boo, 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 boo. Nigeria police. Or you hear boo, 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 boo. Nigeria army. Or you hear boo, 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 boo. Boko Haram. Now, my guy, the feeling is the same. Your emotion at that moment is the same. Whether the Nigeria police you hear, whether the Nigeria army you hear, whether the Boko Haram, that kind of knock at 2 a.m., your feeling is the same. Your feeling is the same. So how can you tell me one is fighting the other? How can you tell me, say, one, one of these groups will make me feel the same? Is fighting another one. Which kind lie be that? Nobody has killed more Nigerian people than the Nigerian army and police. Nobody, no institute, no group, no, uh, no disease, no disease, no natural occurrence has killed more Nigerian people than the Nigerian army and the Nigerian police. Nothing, no phenomena in this world has taken more Nigerian lives than the Nigerian army and the Nigerian police. So what, are, what is anybody saying here about insecurity? This is not, it's not nothing to do with you. This is purely political. It is the will of the people in charge that this is happening to you. They don't, they do them. See, but that's the problem when I get that. When people they tell me, say, ah, Nigeria don't hard you. Do. Dollar is 1,003. Nigeria don't hard you. Do. I look at the selfishness of the middle class. Now, now these this professionals, I talk to you guys all the time. Because now, now you people are the strength of this message. You are not be the strength, and the push them, and the, you, you are dedicated, you are aligned, fully aligned with the oppressors. When dollar be one to one for this country, Nigerians were suffering. They were suffering massively. But you professionals were enjoying. Your salary could buy you nice house, nice car. You complain only as your salary, the power of your salary they reduce. That's why you are the complain. That's why they say now when dollar increase, Nigeria hard. Because the more dollar is increasing, the less your salary is worth. But let me tell you, when Naira was one-to-one -one in this country, millions, tens of millions of Nigerians were suffering. When dollar was 10 Naira to one dollar, tens of millions of Nigerians were suffering. When dollar was 100 Naira to one dollar, Tens of millions of Nigerians were suffering. When dollar was 500 to 1, tens of millions of Nigerians were suffering. So shut up about Nigeria is hard. This is what you people do. This is what you people do to protect your masters. The false narrative. Now, quickly grab the narrative when the master don't release. Quick, when they don't release their, as the owners of all the news, people and news, they're going to wait in the morning for them to release the narrative. When they don't release that, oh, just jump on top, begin spread that, because you don't want to do your part and topple these people. Once you don't give them the excuse, when go embrace the excuse as if it's true. Begin to act on that excuse as if it's true. Behaving on that excuse as if it is the truth, and you know that it's not the truth. Thank you, Sam Cute. My brother, when fuel was 65 naira, Nigerians were suffering. When fuel was 100 naira, Nigerians. Mm. So nobody should tell me anything about dollar. It is nonsense. It's nonsense. So we're gonna not bring that year kidnapping gist. Come with me again. Until we Nigerians decide to do what is necessary to turn these institutions around. To turn these institutions around to start to serve us. And it's in the hands of the Nigerian professionals. You are the ones online, you are the ones with bank accounts. Not the poor people of this country who wait to also hear from you. 
Who knows that you don't know, but ah, my brother for Lagos go tell me the truth. My brother go tell me what they happened. My uncle go tell me my auntie. They don't know that they lie, they lie to them. Now, on a selfish agenda, so that as now they shout amen now for a prayer, we want to keep them begging from you. You are happy that they are begging from you, that your colleagues must come and beg you. That makes you happy. That's the problem. So you are willing to tell this lie. So this is where of shout amen. Anyway, that's what I have to say about you kidnapping. You people should leave me alone. I'm kidnapped. How can I talk about kidnapping when I'm in kidnapper's den? You don't want them to keep me inside the kidnapper's den. I'm kidnapped. Please, free me. <laughs> free. <laughs> free me. Free. Free me, fam. When you free me, I can talk about kidnapping. <laughs>